I want to let people know my PDA net software works just fine with OS 10. That is what this icon on the menu bar is. It'll allow me to connect my Samsung Galaxy S phone to the Macintosh computer, my Mac mini, and I can use the phone then to surf the internet with. It's called tethering. A lot of people do it. You wouldn't actually have to use PDA net, but the PDA net software that I have works just fine, so I'll continue using it. There's probably a lot of other software that would work just fine. I just thought I'd mention that because that had me nervous. Would my phone work as a modem or not? When we actually look at the Macintosh operating system, there's things that you might want to know about it if you're coming from Windows to the Mac OS X. Where the Apple icon is, if you click on it and you go about this Mac, where the overview is, if you go to System Reports, you're going to actually see that you can get information about your Bluetooth, uh, USB, your Thunderbolt controller. So that's kind of useful to have. You can find out stuff about your display as well by clicking on this. And if you go back, this here is the exact same thing that's in System Preferences. It's, the, it's another way to get to it. Just like with Windows, there's different ways to find out the information that you need. If we're on this icon and we go to System Preferences, once again, it brings up the same exact System Preferences that you're going to have right here. See, I can click on that or, or go up over where the Apple logo is and hit System Preferences this way. So it's just different ways to get the same data. If we go to Other and we go into System Information, once again, we can find out about the Bluetooth. If we had printers hooked up, we could find about them. Like I said, you can find out about the USB controller. So it's just different ways to get the same data. So if you're switching over from Windows to OS 10, this is stuff that you might want to know. Like your card reader will give statistics on, on the particular card reader that the Apple hardware is using. Uh, your memory as well, if you needed to know, you know anything about the memory modules you have. So it's just a little bit uh, different way to to go about finding stuff than you would on Windows. But I'm hoping this will be a little bit useful for some people. When you first hit the launch pad, like I said, you'll go into Other. And they do have the DVD player, which is kind of nice. But I just thought I'd show people that really quick. I'll, I'll click out of it. If we go to Launchpad again and we're in the Other, you can see there's all kinds of stuff in here. Terminal, Disk Utility. And this is where you'd partition and format hard drives. I don't know if a lot of you are going to need to get really in-depth with the Mac OS X or not. But I just wanted to let people know that, like I said, if I get go Escape... And then go escape. If you come back into Launchpad, it's in other where you'll find some of this stuff. And you can you have a MIDI set up. And I want to let people know that, you know, if, if you click out of this MIDI setup, it's still up there. You actually have to hit quit. That's a little bit different than the way Windows works as well. So you go to Launchpad, like I said, there's all kinds of stuff that's in this other folder. This is if you had to do profiles, devices, and we're seeing my monitor come up. There's my actual cell phones coming up right now, my Samsung Gear. So I'm hoping that, you know, by me making this tutorial, some of you will be able to navigate through OS 10 and find, you know, the particular stuff that you need, whether it's for graphic design, for video editing, stuff like that, to, to make the appropriate settings that you need to make. If we actually escape out of here and I go back into System Preferences, here's where we have our sound. And if I click on the sound, here's my input where I can select the USB audio input. And then for output, I'm actually using my TV. I got it actually hooked up to like a TV or an AV monitor as opposed to actually using the little built-in speaker that's on the Mac Mini. So it's good to know where all of this stuff is located if you're making the switch from Windows to OS 10. Once again, I opened up this particular utility and in order to actually really quit it, you have to actually go over it and hit quit. Like I said, it's kind of weird the way the Mac OS works, but that's just kind of the way it is. And you'll have to just kind of get used to it. Some of the keyboard shortcuts are slightly different with, with the Mac OS 10 than they would be with Windows. When I first got my Mac Mini, my SD card and the Macintosh hard drive did not show up on the desktop of OS X. In order to get that to show up, you actually have to click on Finder. Once you have Finder enabled on the menu bar, you actually go to Preferences. 
Within Preferences, on the General tab, you'll actually select these icons, and you can actually see now that they show up on the desktop, my SD card as well as my Macintosh hard drive. As you can tell, the hard drive doesn't show up on the sidebar either. In order to get it to show up on the sidebar, you actually have to select these devices here. Now you're seeing them show up on the sidebar. You would think that OS 10 would have that set up like this by default and also show them on the desktop. And then if you didn't want them, you could disable them. But it was really hard for me to navigate through OS 10 without even being able to find my hard drive and my SD cards. Once again, I'll, I'll deselect these real quick and I'll come over here and deselect these real quick. And as you can imagine, if you're using Finder, you're like, hey, I can't find anything. I did for a while just go to where it says go, and you can go to computer. And then in that, and when you actually hit computer, when you're in the Finder, as you can see, your hard drive will show up and your SD card as well. As everyone can see, just like with Windows, you have different ways you can display different things. If you want to see what's on your desktop, you got like list view or big icons, same with the applications, several different ways in, in which you can, you know, see your files, folders, miscellaneous stuff. Like I said, the hard drive's not showing up here. You just simply can come into the go tab, click computer, and it's kind of like my computer, you know, for Windows. You, here's my SD card. Here's the Macintosh hard drive. Obviously, I can click the Macintosh hard drive. I can actually go, you know, back to the hard drive. I can click the SD card, go into the images and whatnot of my SD card. So it's nice to have, you know, a tutorial that can show you how to navigate and find your hard drive and your SD cards. When I first got the Mac Mini, you know, it, it took me a couple of days to figure out how to find this stuff. I probably could have went on YouTube and found a video, but I just ended up discovering it for myself. This video has been edited using Final Cut Pro 10.